All right, you guys, let's talk about why you should be editing your 4K footage on a 1080p timeline. So I'm gonna create a new project here and I'm gonna just call this, we'll call it 4K on 1080p. And let's make sure we save it somewhere. You can say I've already got mine set to the 4K on 1080p folder that I created in my videos folder. And we'll go ahead and just click OK. Let's start by importing some footage. I'm going to come down here into my project window and just double click anywhere in this blank space to import some media. I've got here in this folder, I've got some 4K footage right here that I want to use. So I'm going to click on this and hit import. This is a nice long clip, so it's going to give me plenty to work with. I want to check to make sure, though, that this is 4K. So I'm going to click down here at the bottom of my project window on the list view button. And that's going to change me to this view. It's going to show me two important pieces of information. One, my frame rate, which in this case is 29.97 or 30 frames per second. And I'm going to scroll way over and I want to make sure that my video info, that the size is 3840 by 2160. That means I was shooting in 4K. Perfect. But we want to edit this 4K footage on a 1080p timeline. So the problem is if I just grab this and drag it over onto the timeline, it's going to create a 4K timeline. That's not what I want. So I'm going to Command Z that. I'm going to click down here on the new item button here in my project window and I'm going to create a new sequence right here and I'm looking for in here I'm looking for digital SLR 1080p and because this was a 30, 30 frames per second or 29.97 I'm going to choose 1080p 30 and that's going to create a 1080p 30 frame per second sequence for me so I'm going to click OK and I'm now on this new sequence this is a 1080p sequence so I'm gonna double click on my 4K footage, put it up here in my source window. Let's set an in point and an out point. I and O will set your in points and your out points. And then I'm just gonna click and drag this down onto my timeline. Premiere right away has sensed a problem. It's saying, hey, this is 4K footage and you're putting it on a 1080p timeline. Do you want to change the sequence to match the clip's settings? In this case, we do not. We want to keep editing on a 1080p timeline. So we're gonna click on keep existing settings and you'll notice right away that what happened is my clip seems like it's zoomed in. So here's what's going on, you guys. We're using a smaller frame to hold our larger footage. And that's why it looks like it's zoomed in like this. And the awesome thing about this is that this gives us tons of extra footage to work with. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna come down here, click on my clip to make sure it's selected and come up here to effect controls. And if you're unfamiliar with effect controls, check out this video up here that will walk you through all the cool things you can do in this panel. You can see here in effect controls that I can scale this down all the way to 50% in order to get the entire image to show up. What that means is that I can change this from 50 up to 100 without deteriorating or compressing or changing my image quality at all, which gives us a ton of latitude on things we can do with our clip. So, for example, I might start at 50%, right? So I'll put it there and put the clip at the playhead at the start of my clip. Let's create a keyframe by clicking here. And this shows me my entire clip, but maybe by the time I get out to here, I wanna be a little bit more zoomed in. So maybe I'll bring my scale up to 75%, but I also wanna start to reveal that cliff over there. So I wanna move it as well. So I'm gonna put this back at the beginning, create a playhead, or excuse me, create a keyframe for position and then when I get over to this one, I also want this to be moved over to the left a little bit. And let's see how that looks. Okay. So that allowed me to introduce some movement and some scale change into my clip without changing the image quality at all or without having to interpolate any pixels, which is a great way to be editing. Editing 4K footage on a 1080p timeline gives us lots of different options. Let's look at another clip. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this clip here. And you can see this is a relatively static clip, meaning the camera's not really moving at all. And I wanna add some movement to this. So what I'm gonna do is put my playhead back at the beginning, press I to set an endpoint. Let's go right before it starts to move. We'll press O to set an out point. We'll drag this down to the timeline. It's just a short clip, that's okay. I'm gonna zoom in on my timeline by dragging this dude over and I'm gonna put my playhead over that clip to select it. I'm coming here to effect controls and I'm gonna uh, put the playhead right at the very beginning and I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit because remember I'm way zoomed in but I don't wanna go all the way to 50% because I want some extra to be able to add some movement here. I'm gonna reposition so that waterfall's a little more centered. And let's create keyframes here and here. 
And I'm going to come over just a little bit. And I want to, again, make this look like the camera is moving a little bit more. So maybe I'll put the playhead right about there. And now I'm going to move this. Let's see, should we go that way or should we go this way? Let's try this way. Actually, let's try going up and down. That might look a little more interesting. Let's go up to reveal. And let's also zoom out just a touch. Maybe we won't be able to zoom out much because as soon as we do, we'll start to reveal some black bars at the top there. So we'll zoom out to there right there. And now that looks like this. So that was a completely static shot. The camera was not moving at all, but because I had extra footage, because I had 4K footage on a 1080p timeline, I was able to add some movement into the shot to make it look like the camera was actually moving. Let me show you one more cool effect that you can get with this 4K on 1080p timeline. I'm gonna go back to my source window, and I've got a clip here where the camera was just flying over the river, so it was moving forwards. Uh, pretty basic clip. I wanna add kind of a cool effect here to it, so I'm gonna drag this one down to my timeline. And you can see it starts zoomed in, that's fine. And let's come up to effect controls and put our playhead right at the very beginning. We'll start with a scale um, keyframe. And I'm not sure I'm gonna change the position, but I'm gonna add one anyways, just in case. And then what I'm gonna do is come forward a little bit, maybe about right there. And I wanna just zoom this out as far as I can. So all the way down to 50. I can't go any lower without introducing some black bars around the edge. And let's see what that looks like. So remember, the camera is moving forward at this point, but the image is scaling down and it gets what's called a dolly zoom effect. This is a very popular effect. You'll see this quite a bit in movies and TV shows where it looks like the image is getting stretched out like that. In fact, I wonder what would happen if we drag this all the way to the end. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I like the looks of that a lot. I think that's a much more interesting shot than the original shot, which just looked like this. I mean, the original shot's okay. It's a good shot, don't get me wrong. But I love this stretching it out by changing the zoom, by keyframing the scale. I think that looks really good. I like that effect a lot. So you can do all kinds of good stuff, you guys, with a 4K footage on a 1080p timeline by playing around with the scale and the position here in the effect control window. So have fun with this, get creative, and let's see what you can create.